Kongsberg Spacedeckers or KSPT, prior to 1994 Spacedeck A.S., is a supplier of ground stations based in Tromsø, Norway. It is owned by the Kongsberg Group and is part of its Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace Division. The company is co-located with Kongsberg Satellite Services KSAT and Tromsø Satellite Station TSS. History The company was established by some of the most experienced employees of Trumsa Satellite Station, which had been operating since 1967. They originally established Drive Electronics in 1982, but it was bankrupt two years later. The company was re-established as Spacedeck, which was registered on of December 1984. The company was established with a share capital of 5 million Norwegian krona or 1,000 Norwegian krona per share. Along with Norsk Data, Computers, Informations Control and Naratom, Spacedeck established the joint venture Nor Space to act as supplier to the European Space Agency. By 1986, the company had 18 employees. It received a state subsidy of 6.25 million Norwegian krona to finance its expansion. This resulted in a contract to deliver a ground station system to Esrange in Kiruna, Sweden. The Norwegian Defence Research Establishment developed an application of synthetic aperture radar for satellites at this was to be commercialised by Spacedeck and Norsk Data. In July 1988 the company signed a contract to deliver equipment worth 26 million Norwegian krona to TSS in partnership with Norsk Data. This involved Spacedeck designing a downlink and image processing software for ERS-1 which needed to be capable of handling 100 megabits per second. The new ground station was to be completed in 1989 and operational by April 1990. Also in 1988, Norspace signed an agreement to deliver telemetry components for ESA's Columbus module for the International Space Station. In December Spacedeck signed an agreement with ESA to develop a system to transfer satellite data from magnetic tapes to optical disks. During 1989, Spacedeck participated in a cooperation with TSS and the University of Tromsø in developing technology to send satellite images to customers in the course of minutes, rather than hours and days, through the use of broadband. After 10 years of development, the Norwegian Defence Research Establishment launched its Cesar supercomputer, which was tailor-made for analysis of SAR images and had been developed in cooperation with Spacetech. It allowed for the analysis of a 100 by 100 square kilometers, 39 by 39 square miles surface area in 8 minutes. In November 1990, Spacedeck signed an agreement with ESA to develop and supply a simulator to test and verify the launching ramp of the Ariane 5 rockets. Spacedeck cooperated with the Norwegian Meteorological Institute to develop a processing system for the latter to utilize satellite data for meteorology. With two years of development, Spacedeck planned to sell the technology to other users. In 1993 Spacedeck signed an agreement with ESA to deliver telemetry systems to ERS-2. In 1991 the company had 38 employees, of which 30 were engineers. It had a revenue of 28 million Norwegian krona and a net income of 2.9 million Norwegian krona. One sixth of the company was owned by various employees, while the remaining was owned by various industrial companies in Tromsø. The largest were Oddberg Gruppen and Sparebank and Nord Norge Norsk Forsvarsnologi made an unsuccessful attempt to purchase Spacedeck in December 1993, with a price of 1,300 Norwegian krona per share. Negotiations with the main shareholders followed and by March NFT had bought the company at a price of 1550 Norwegian krona per share, 7.75 million Norwegian krona in total. In August 1994, Spacedeck signed a contract for parts of a new ground station in Singapore. 
In September 1995, Spacetech started a cooperation with the French company Thomson to develop systems for the European Organisation for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites. In November, a subsidiary was established which would work with processing medical X-ray images. Spacetech participated with technology for the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. In 1996, the Norwegian Space Center started negotiations with NASA to provide a ground station for the Earth Observing System in Longyearbyen. Svalbard Satellite Station was established in 1997 and was owned by Kongsberg, Lockheed Martin Space Data Services, a joint venture between Kongsberg Spacetech and Lockheed Martin. That year Kongsberg Spacetech had a revenue of 42 million Norwegian krona and they announced that they would focus on receiving contracts in Asia and South America. Throughout the 1990s, Kongsberg Spacetech had a fairly stable revenue and an annual profit of between 2 Norwegian krona and 3 million. In 1997, Kongsberg moved 10 employees working on a radar system to Trumsa and co-located them with Spacetech. Spacetech experienced a major revenue increase from 1999 to 2002, to more than 60 million Norwegian krona. However, they were not able to increase their profits. After three years' development of new weather satellite technology, Spacetech won a contract worth 50 million Norwegian krona in September 2002 for Meteosar 8. In 2002, ownership and operations of the facility were consolidated and taken over by the newly created Kongsberg Satellite Services. Lockheed Martin was no longer interested in owning a share of the facility and sold their shares. NSC and Kongsberg merged their interests in the new company, which also took over Trumsa Satellite Station. By 2004, six antennas, between 9 and 13 meters 30 and 43 feet in diameter, had been installed. In April 2005 the company was for the first time in its history forced to lay off employees. The company cited a combination of reduced activity in ESA, a delay in the Meteosar program and a reduction in discounted wage taxes. Nine people were laid off. Following this, there surfaced that there periodically had been poor cooperation between Spacetech and KSAT, as the latter had been in a period with rapid growth without the other following suit. Spacetech had its breakthrough with NASA in September 2006 when it signed an agreement to deliver 22 ground stations to Goddard Space Flight Center in a contract worth 19 million Norwegian krona. Spacetech signed its first contract with a Russian organization in April 2007, when a contract for a ground station for Meteosar was signed with Hydrometeorological Center of Russia with options for a further two stations. Trumsa Center for Remote Technology was established in February 2008 as a cooperation between Spacetech, KSAT, UIT and the Northern Research Institute. The goal of the project was to create closer ties between research and commercial activity within satellite communication technology. Customers. <laughs> <laughs> European Space Agency ESA EUMETSAT RADARSAT2 processor MDA Invisit ASAR processor NASA Goddard Space Flight Center Norwegian Meteorological Institute Planck low frequency instrument UK Met Office KSAT Globus Project Chinese Academy of Science Norwegian Computing Center KNMI NORUT The ESA, ESRINATSR Browse Generation System ABS, ICEMON Euroclim Barentswatch <laughs>